Welcome back to the Hat House, guys. Really appreciate you tuning back in. Today's video, I really wanted to go over a deep dive into some different types, styles, and brands of hats that uh, flip quickly or flip for a lot of money. And the first section is the panel hats. And these really flip quickly. So they're more in abundance. They're not going to typically be 100 to $200 hats, but you can find them out there in any brand, whether it's Vans or Brixton or uh, Nike. Uh, there's all sorts of brands make a five panel hat and they flip really well. Uh, the second style that I, that I really wanted to go over was Patagonia. Uh, Patagonia is a huge brand. There are hats in Patagonia that sell for hundreds of dollars and there's hats in Patagonia that sell for $10. I really want to be able to show you the difference in those and kind of what you're looking out for. The last one that I wanted to look at was the Bangers, basically, which is sports specialties. It's a huge brand as well. Uh, they have hats that go for thousands of dollars. We'll look at a couple of those and see what we're looking for. There's also the mid-tier, which I would call $100 to $200 hats, and then the lower-tier sports specialties, uh, the $20 to $50 hats. It really runs the gamut on sports specialties, and you just kind of got to know what you're looking for. I'll give some tips on uh, how to tell if it's a vintage hat, the uh, styles that you're really looking for, and we'll just get a deep dive into these three. I'll continue this series. I'll continue to show you different brands and styles of hats and what we need to be looking for out there uh, and how we're pricing some of these things. So stick around, guys. I know you'll enjoy that I wanted to take a look at was the five panel hat or panel hat. All I did was search five panel hat in the search bar. And the only other settings that I really used, I set it to pre-owned and I set it to sold. As you can see, fishing hats always do really well. We'll talk about those probably later. But if we look at the regular five panel hats and all, the five panel basically has one, two, three, four, and a fifth panel. And even if they hat, if they're configured this way, you can still call them a panel hat. Even if they have six panels, I would still call them a panel hat. Maybe not five panel, but you definitely use panel in your keywords as you're listing them because that will get hits and people like the style. They're really looking for the style. So you can see this this one is a Banana Republic. It's vintage. It went for thirty dollars in a panel hat because it's wool. Wool also does better. Of course, the Polo Ralph Lauren hats. Always want to make sure you look them up and see what they're going for. This one had a really cool design. Uh, maybe that's England or something, but RL93. Definitely want to look those up. There's a Prana hat that went for best offer. See this Nautica hat? $25 for a basic Nautica hat. Uh, just because it's five panel, and it's wool. A uh, really nice hat. Another great one, we'll look at Nike hats later as well, but this is a Tailwind. You always want to price up the Tailwinds. The Nike Tailwind does really good. Usually the Tailwind has this kind of bigger mesh on it, uh, and it's a lightweight running type of hat. They do really well. Just basic brands, but a good style. I uh, went for 15 Probably undersold this one. See, it sold almost immediately. It said a new listing, sold on October 1st, sold for $9.99. They probably underpriced that one. That's probably a $20 hat based on just how cool the print is and the style. Here's the other Nike hat you want to look for, especially in five panel and great designs. This is an AW84 five panel. Always do really well. 120 seems a little on the high end. Uh, I don't ever get that for mine. Maybe I've never found this awesome style and color scheme. But uh, usually they're at least fifty to seventy dollar hats. See, just a basic running jogging hat. This has no brand on it, but it's the five panel type of style. Fifteen dollars plus shipping. Uh, Supreme hat, really cool all over print hat right here. Went for sixteen. Another Supreme hat for fifty bucks. Stussy hat uh, went for thirty. Uh, these Cole hats probably went cheaper. Uh, Could have probably got twenty dollars a piece for those. Another Supreme hat. 
And here's the, here's the other main one you want to look for. It's going to be this vin, these vintage Patagonia. They kind of have the mesh on the sides here. I would call this a fishing hat and also a panel hat. They do really well. Uh, this price point of uh, 90 bucks is pretty reasonable. Probably took a best offer for 60 or 70. Uh, easy to get that much for those vintage Patagonia hats. Do really well. But also in the five panel, they just sell even faster. Scroll down here, see if there's anything else of major significance besides just a regular Brixton hat. The five panel in the title goes for 20 bucks. This style, you just really want to keep an eye out for. It's really all about the style. It sells well, it sells fast. This is prob probably, they're calling it a fresh Prince of Bel Air hat. Did really well, took a best offer on it. So uh, always be on the lookout for the five panel hats. Even a regular Huff hat sold for 15 North Face. The style is really where it's at. So keep an, keep an eye out for the five panel. It's got one, two, three, four, and five panels on it. But even if they have this type of design with the big panel in the front and then the other panels around it, uh, I would pick up almost any brand in good shape. It For a couple of bucks, you can turn it into 15 to 20 pretty easily. The next set of hats that I want to look at is Patagonia hats. On the settings here, I just typed in Patagonia and I did put it to sold and I didn't click pre-owned. I went ahead and looked at the new ones and this one as well, because basically you're going to find that the vintage ones, which are basically used, are the ones that go for the most anyways. And then I set it to price plus shipping highest first. Uh, so the first one here, you can see it's just a great five panel hat which we've talked about uh, and it also has a great uh, all over flower print here uh, and it's vintage so uh, really cool hat right here 225 awesome price uh, the next set i want to look at is the live simply it comes in a couple of different styles i've never had the frog one myself there's also one with a guitar on it that does really well and there's other styles that say live simply on there so on the live simply patagonia you always want to look that up and do your due diligence on the research there. They can do really well. And in Patagonia, we're really looking for different than regular. So the regular Patagonia hats, which I'll show you in a minute what I'm calling regular, but just a regular Patagonia hat is most of the time between $10 and $20. We're looking for different. Uh, this one has forward on it. Did really well. Uh, here's a set of, uh, looks like five panel hats. Did really well. And this one is, this they call it a spoonbill. I've never called it spoonbill, but a duckbill hat uh, has the uh, the hat that the bill is really uh, soft and uh, easy to. Basically, this one you can fold it up and put it in your pocket, uh, and then it has this mesh on the side. You always want to look these up, especially if you find one with a really cool print on it. Uh, they can do really well, but the basic ones, just a regular blue or a yellow or a red. Uh, they can do 50 to $70 as well. So always be on the lookout for what we call a uh, duckbill hat. They sell really well. We'll go through a few more of these high-priced ones. Here's a, a duckbill and a bucket hat. Did really good. Freedom to roam. Looking for just the different patches and things that aren't the usual Patagonia hat. Great prints. These were new. They actually knew the year, uh, which would really help on this one. This one is uh, Pacific Ironworks, can do really well too. Uh, it usually has this pickaxe on it. The pickaxe does really well. Great prints. Even just a regular plain brown vintage uh, spoonbill. Here's another Live Simply with the whale on it. Not the greatest condition, but still went for over $100. And of course, the bucket hats did really well. Oh, here's the last one I wanted to show you. Uh, the Flying Fish. Flying Fish is a really great logo to find. Uh, anytime you find this, just the regular trucker style hats with the mesh snapbacks are 40, 60. It just depends on how rare the style you have or the logo you have and the hat is. But always want to look out for that logo. All right, let's see what I'm talking about when I talk about just a regular Patagonia. I'm sure you know this style is just a $10 to $20 hat usually. If you have it in really awesome condition almost like new you can get 20 to 30 but a lot of these hats are just 10 to 20 dollar hats regular patagonia regular patagonia 
regular Patagonia, regular Patagonia. This guy probably undersold this one for only $19, but uh, this is just a regular Patagonia. And you're really just looking at things that are different. Uh, let's see, this one went for 65, had a different uh, logo on it. But the regular Patagonia hats uh, are typically a $20 hat, uh, depending on the condition. Uh, the last couple I did want to point out that are usually a little bit more, and you always want to look up the style and or the color, is the Fitzroy. This one happens to be a tarpon. There's also a trout. Uh, we call it a Fitzroy fish, Fitzroy trout, Fitzroy tarpon. This one probably went pretty cheap. They do really well as well. And then the Fitzroy bear, and there's a Fitzroy buffalo. You want to make sure and look those up. See, this Live Simply with the guitar went for $35. It's really rough condition. The, the last set of hats that I want to look at is sports specialties hats. Huge category. Can go for thousands, but can go for $10. You're really on the lookout for a few things. If you look at this one, it's sold twice, actually. And this one is actually, you'll find that is a replica. I'd be really interested to know if it actually, they paid this much for it. Because uh, when you dig into this hat, you'll see it has Young and Replica on it. So I don't know that it actually was vintage. It doesn't have the year on here. So it'd be interesting to know what this really sold for. And the, the front of the tag does say made in Korea. But uh, this was a really cool hat and I'll show you what you're looking for on these sports specialties hats that do sell for a lot there is the script it's basically written out there's a single line script and a D line script this one is the single line script there's one line of script right here and then when you're looking at plain logo sports specialties hat what you're really looking for is the logo on the side like this Los Angeles Kings, the ones that go for the most will have like the NHL logo on the side as well and the MLB logo on the side. And then the Heather hats do really well as well. But for the plain logo ones, you're just looking for this logo on the side. Uh, and then typically there'll be uh, Youngin. This one even had the name written in it. Sports Specialties. That's the vintage tag made in Korea, Youngin. You can see this one doesn't say replica on the bottom. This one is uh, the real deal. Has a Youngin snap on it as well. So really, that's what you're looking for right here. The other one I, I would be wary of, but this one is the real deal. It's also black, which increases the value of it. The black with the batter man on the side, Youngin, snap back beautiful hat probably really did sell for that much they probably did end up paying this is about a thousand dollar hat really diamond in the rough right there as you can see the main ones have the logo on the side they're black these are the really expensive ones this one is uh, called a shadow or script and it is in black uh, so it did really well uh, the shadow script is this side right here some people call them laser it basically is a shadow of the logo. This one is in really great condition as well. So really great hat there as well. Uh, a vintage Cleveland Indians. We've talked about Chief uh, Wahoo. Great logo to be on the lookout for in any brand of hat. Uh, that logo is no longer, no longer made. Made in Korea. You're going to see most of the vintage ones and the really good ones are made in Korea. All right. Well, let's scroll through here. Um, let's see, it has the logo on the side. The other main difference you're going to want to know is the difference between if it is wool, it is going to be worth more, or it may be a twill. Twill is like cotton and polyester, and of course wool is wool. The twill, cotton, and polyester hats typically do not sell for as much. Uh, we've got another vintage uh, Philadelphia Phillies. It's black with the logo on the side. Sold really well. So really, you can see that First page, you're looking at a lot of script hats. Some of the lasers and shadows are on the first page is selling for the most. And definitely the black hats are selling for the most. So those are the ones that are going to be the highest priced. 
and we'll kind of look at some of the uh, mid tier and lower tier. All right, now I have it just set to uh, sorted by ended recently in the solds, and we'll kind of get more of a, uh, a mix of products in here. Uh, see, there's another Bruins that has a, a laser, did really well. I'm kind of surprised this one only sold for $47. King Griffey Jr. and Sports Specialties. You're looking at uh, this logo here. And anytime you find King Griffey Jr., this batter man, it does really well. I'm really interested. I would think this would be closer to a $100 hat, but there just may be several out there. Really cool hat. All right, the next, the next style I want you to be really on the lookout for is the cord. And that's what it's called on the tag. It's called Sports Specialties, the cord. The, you're, usually they're script hats like this Miami Hurricanes hat right here. It says the cord on it, made in Korea, vintage. Really, it's one of the best corduroy sports hats that you can get as far as quality uh, and style. So this one did really well. It says it went for 105 And I think I brought it up in a past video but uh, you may see, like, you may think it's like a collaboration between Nike and Sports Specialties. Nike bought Sports Specialties, so it is not a mix-up. So there will be some Nike hats that do say Sports Specialties on them. This one is a newer hat, 2017. But uh, that is not a mixed-up. That just may be a, uh, a retro remake hat right there. But you will run across some Nike hats that have sports specialties branding in them, and that would still be correct. All right, the, the last thing I wanted to really look at is kind of the mid to lower tier sports specialties, and they're still really cool hats and maybe vintage, but you can see this one, this one doesn't have the logo on the side. Where's the picture right there? It doesn't have the logo on the side, and this one is a blend of acrylic and wool. So these hats don't go for as much. They're still nice hats, but it's just not the primo quality sports specialties that you're looking for. And sometimes people will price these up for $300, not understanding the difference in what they have. All right, one more thing that I wanna call out on the sports specialties. Uh, this one was actually mine, and this isn't vintage. Uh, it had, you can see on the tag, it says one, fi one size fits most. And you'll see one size fits most is on the newer hats. And then the older hats, the vintage hats, they'll say one size fits all. Uh, that's the main difference uh, in one way to spot whether you have an older hat or a newer hat. Uh, the other way is just usually the sports specialties on the side uh, is usually a newer hat. But uh, you'll see that this one is actually made in China. The older ones we saw were made in Korea, and this one has one size fits most uh, are the easiest ways to tell. All right, the last thing that I really wanted to point out was uh, think about the era in the late 90s when a lot of these hats were made, uh, what teams were really big and hot and selling really well, and they produced more of the hats. So you think like the Miami Dolphins that we see right here, uh, this is called a grid. It's kind of like the laser hat. Miami Dolphins, the Dallas Cowboys, a lot of San Francisco 49ers uh, was really hot during that time period. And it kind of goes for the baseball ones as well. Just think about the, the sports brands that were big and mass produced. Those hats just aren't going to go for as much typically. Uh, it's just all about rarity and how many of these hats are out there in the different teams. So Green Bay Packers, won't go for as much. Dallas Cowboys won't go for as much. But if you find the smaller teams, the smaller markets that that was good back then, but maybe are good now, those are the hats that really start pushing up the price because there just wasn't as many made. You can see the Packers, the 49ers, kind of really in the mid price range here. But you get into uh, lesser produced teams, uh, then you're looking at bigger money like the Los Angeles Kings is always a great one in sports specialties. All right, guys, there was three styles and brands to be on the lookout for. If you learned anything, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And if there's something else that you want to kind of do a deep dive into, if there's a brand or a style of hat 
that you want to look more into, make sure and let me know down in the comments. Uh, we'll get to it. I plan on this series to keep doing it. And uh, until next time from the Hat House, so long.